This is the Cyrus Avery Centennial Plaza, celebrating Route 66 and where the east meets west. This is on one side of the Arkansas River here in Tulsa, and now on the other, a neon sign park. Liked a little better today. We got nice weather for once, so out here just trying to get the best shots I can. Jesse Robinson is in his final year as a photography student at the University of Tulsa. It's also his second time out to the city's neon sign park, and probably not his last. Jesse's a big fan of Route 66. Yep, big fan. <laughs> I love these signs. I love the history behind them. I love just the oddball nature of them just being on the side of the road here. These aren't just any neon signs from Route 66. They are originally at Tulsa businesses, but have since been lost to time until now. Oh, I love them. I love the fact that they're sort of authentically replicated and recreated. Uh, signs pointing to nowhere, but it's sort of a lot of fun to look at, you know? While the originals don't exist anymore, many photos do. They were researched, gathered up, and handed over to a local designer. David Hofer uh, recreated the signs based on all of that data that we could gather. They're brand new signs, uh, but reflect truly what was intended when they were originally built. Ken Busby is chair for Tulsa's Route 66 Commission and director of the Route 66 Alliance. It is iconic America. It was the first national highway to cross this country. It, it was part of the, 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 the national plan of bringing our communities together and, and getting people traveling. And some of those travelers would have actually stayed at the Tulsa motels the signs represent. The Will Rogers Motor Court, the Oil Capital Motel, and the Tulsa Auto Court with AC and vacancy. The informational placards can tell you all about them. You can find its history, where it was located, uh, the, the, the rationale behind it, and, and what that motel was like at the time. Far and wide, local and international, Route 66 draws in thousands of visitors every year. And now there's another spot to add to their list of stops. It is about open spaces. It's about traveling. It's about freedom. It was the lifeline for so much of America at its time. And so celebrating that today is, is really telling that great American story and the spirit of entrepreneurship, the spirit of enterprise and all of that. At dusk, these twinkling treasures come to life. Jesse says sites like this along the Mother Road, both old and new, are important connections to history. I've been an Oklahoma resident all my life. I'm an Oklahoma native, but I really feel a better connection to the history of where I live and where I grew up from seeing these sites and sort of experiencing them firsthand. It's the vintage and nostalgia and all of that, but to have something that was that important to Tulsa and, and to the history of Route 66 now, is just amazing. On Route 66 in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.